Hi, Pierrette here, and this is my beautiful baby girl, Jada. I'm not sure if you can see her or not, but Jada wants to be in today's video with me. Uh, this is her, she's going to be two on January 2nd, and she's our Siberian Husky. The reason I wanted to do a video today is that I just came back from a funeral, and this funeral was for a gentleman who has had a profound effect on my life. When my husband and I and the two kids moved here more than 14 years ago, he was one of the first to open his arms and welcome us to this community. He was always there, always helping us, and even now, uh, to this day, uh, he still continues to leave that legacy of being one who cares, who helps, who connects, who inspires. During the funeral, I was sitting in the pew at the church, and I just, you know, funerals have this effect, right? They, they get you to reflect on your own life and to look in the mirror and say, am I really showing up for my life? Am I really showing up for what's important? He showed up. He showed up and the, the size of the church and the amount of people in the church was reflective of his big heart and what he's done for so many in his community. In essence, that's, that's what it comes down to is how are you showing up? How are you showing up as your best self to be either of service to others, to be helpful to others, to help others move forward in their lives? Whatever that is for you and in whatever capacity that is for you. He was such a warm heart, big spirit, and, you know, that the church was just radiating because of the love that he had for so many. And it got me thinking that, yeah, he was such a special man, and there are so many people who need us to be like that, who need our warm hearts, who need our caring advice, um, our arms to hold them, and the love that we have to share. So as we head into the weekend, uh, maybe consider being of service to somebody, being helpful, smiling, showing your, your gratitude, being available to someone when perhaps you weren't available before, and just being present for those that are needing that extra support. You know, there's lots of time to work. There's lots of time to check things off your to-do list. There's also time to be that warm and loving spirit that you are so that you can help someone have a better day, have a better life. It really is up to us to step in, step out, and help. So those are my thoughts for today, uh, a special and warm dedication to Valmont. Uh, Valmont, you've been such an amazing spirit, an amazing man in my life, and I want to say thank you from my family to yours and to you for always being there, being so warm and caring and making us all feel like we matter. So that's what I have for today. Thank you.